See, that's where like, the whole wing block, if you want to do that particular movement. Then change position. Soon you change the position, this hand turn, and this hand, boom, punch. But reality term, you're not punching him in the face. Because I already mentioned to you that we're not promoting punch in the face. You will mess up the hand very easily, then very difficult for you to control them later on. So what you're trying to do is not hit in the face, but stopping into the places. So the line come in your turn, drop, line, in the places. In that place, help you to understand it, breaking the arm down. Okay, from here. That's what helps you to understand. If you punch the opposite side, you turn exactly the same thing. The hand will drop, the hand will drop, come back in the land into the throat here. And this land here, you are able to work with that straight away. That's the bone sound size that I explained to you on, to the, pre, on the first episode that I mentioned already about the bone sound. Now, when you're learning this particular bit on the bone sound, you need to understand it's the time and the place for using that. Now, next bit that I need to show you is when he starts to grabbing on my hand and how I'm moving from side to side. Now, when I, he punch me, I hear, and he grab, how I'm moving my hand to side to side. Now, two ways of doing this. When you get here, this hand must be turned here, from here, turn here, yeah? And then quickly bring it hand, and then hit him straight away here. That's one way to do that. Now, when you're doing that, two complications you might get. Maybe even the elbow, and then you get the elbow coming back because he's understanding the line. So when you hear elbow, it can be very difficult because you control the hand. Elbow, elbow, elbow. He won't be able to elbow you because you can eliminate the movement that you walk in. While you go into his body, you eliminate down the line of his body for him not to be able to react because of different line you put on. So that's when you need to understand when you work with this. When you're understanding this, then you can start to move around very easily. So I go through one of this particular movement that he's not gonna grab me. As soon as I relay the hand up, he put the hand to block and I will change side very quickly. Now when you start to work with this, when you start to learning, learn about changing size, then I hit him for instance, then I changing size. This is a skill side to side changing and understanding this particular line. Learn about this. When I'm doing this, always remember the hand, elbow me. It can be difficult because he cannot elbow me. He will be in the places where I want him. Because coming to me, that is in line here, that he not going to come again near to my body at all. Come in, it's going to be hard. This side coming in the same thing. Coming to me, that, it keep him out of the way. Yeah, out here, coming to me. It's going to be hard. That's what this elbow here is that you need to eliminate. If you come in here, elbow coming in, that will hit you in the face very easily because that's bent. So we make sure that it's not bent, and here elbow, it's not going to go anywhere. From here, I still can hit him. Okay? So that's the thing you need to learn about Wing Chun size. It's learning to understanding where his body and where your body, learning about the distance. Next one I'm going to go forward to you, it understanding how to go in down and using the leg to the kick to the shin. So when he punch come in, learning about that line. Now when he come in here, so what is here? Yeah, that's what I explained to you before. And that already coming in for the shin here. Boom, down here. Now when he start to learning this and he punch me other side, it's the same thing that I can understand. 